Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to start making a Space Invaders type game in Unity. So first let's just start making a document. This is going to be a multi-parter series, so stay tuned for that. Let's make a new project. Let's call it Space Invaders. Let's go 2D Create. And now we wait for Unity to open. While we're doing that, let's start making the sprite for the spaceship. So open up a sprite or Photoshop or whatever software you use to make your sprites and go into make a 32 by 32. That's what I'm going with. You can go 16 by 16 or 8 by 8 bit document and then just make a spaceship. I like to go with the body first. Make it symmetrical because it's easiest that way and then just keep going and add details too. Do some wings. I got to do my wings higher up. I'm actually going to extend this down a bit and then bring the wings down as well. And then just mirror it on the other side to make it symmetrical. And then just paint it how you want. So yeah. I'll do that real quick, and then we'll get on with the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so now that I've finished that, hopefully Unity's gotten up. It has. Okay, so let's import this into our scene by just saving it as a PNG into our scene. And for this episode, we're just gonna do the spaceship, so just the movement and stuff. So. Here in our sprite, let's change this to 16 pixels per unit, or 32, because we did 32 bit. Whatever bit you did, change that to that. Uh, max size, since mine is only a 32 bit picture, just 32. No compression, and filter mode point. Okay, so our thing is there. I'm actually just real quick gonna do, I'm gonna make the outlines just a darker green because I like that aesthetic, but it'll be really quick. Okay, now that I've done that, let's on our spaceship add a script here and we'll call that spaceship movement. Create an add and then open up Visual Studio. We've gotta wait for that to open. Execute elevator music. That was fast. Okay, so in the top, we're gonna add public float MX, which will be the horizontal movement. We're actually just float MX. And then in update, MX equals input dot get axis horizontal. And then in fixed update, vector to movement. And in here, we also need to make a public float movement speed. And we'll make that 5F vector2 movement equals MX times movement speed. And then we got to make a rigid body on our spaceship. So RB rigid body 2D. We'll make this kinematic. Let's also turn off constraints for the rotation because we don't want that to happen. And now in here, RB, we make a rigid body 2D variable. And we'll call that RB equals, and then in start, we'll do game object dot get component R rigid body 2D, RB equals that. And now here we do RB dot velocity dot Y. We forgot to add vector2 movement equals new vector2 that. And now 
rigid body dot velocity equals movement. I think that'll do it for the movement script. A and D do move it. There's a little bit of sliding. But that's fine. So yeah, let's actually add a little bit more speed to that. I think 7.5 will do. Yeah, so that's going to be it for this part of the tutorial. Next episode, we'll probably do uh, shooting and then enemies. And yeah, this is going to be a beginner series. So if this is your first time learning anything Unity, this will be a great series for you. Stay tuned. And if you want to stay tuned, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that you'll be notified for videos in the series in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.